This might not look like a McDonald's, but it is. Okay, maybe asking for a wine list was a bit of a stretch, but when visiting the world's fanciest McDonald's, who knows what to expect? This is McDonald's Next, a new concept being tested out in Hong Kong, offering everything from quinoa to matcha sundaes served on a waffle. As many say it's always better to be overdressed than underdressed, well, I'm not taking any chances. At this McDonald's, almost everything you've known about the Golden Arches is thrown out the window. Went in a fancy McDonald's, go for brioche. Caramelized onions, truffle flavored sauce. You can just add grilled pineapple, crispy wood bacon, more cheese. The fries seem a little bit standard. I would have thought they'd have like sweet potato fries or truffle fries. There is a lot of drink options. The burger, fries, and salted caramel latte add up to just under $9. For McDonald's, probably a little high, but still pretty good, I would say. For me, the kiosk is taking a bit of getting used to. See, uh, this kiosk... Cancel. Ah, no, don't cancel the whole thing. It's a bit too complex for me. All right. no. This, I want this. Kiosks are increasingly popping up in McDonald's around the world. Not only do they reduce labor costs, but also customers tend to spend a bit more when ordering on a kiosk. Since I'm getting the burger, perhaps I should get a salad, too. You have a choice between two different lettuces. We'll do California blend. Shredded mozzarella or shaved parmesan. Obviously the shaved parmesan. There's quinoa, crispy bacon bits, let's do pineapple, crayfish egg mayo. Let's give it a try. The salad cost me $11.40. After 6 o'clock, they do table service at this McDonald's, which means you have a number, and they come to you, which is quite nice. First, it's the soapy water. Give it a scrub. Then you rinse. And then automatically, the paper towel comes out. Whether you're ready or not, the experience happens. It's very fancy. It came on a cutting board with a real fork, a real knife, and it's like one of those hip places you go for brunch. And even the ketchup here, is delivered. This is the salad that just came from. This McDonald's even has wireless mobile chargers and USB ports. As full as I am right now, I think I need to see a dessert menu. Ordering one of their fanciest desserts can only be done behind the McCafe counter. Are the cakes made on site? Yes. Yes, they are made on site. <laughs> Here, the coffee beans come from different regions. It's so proud of its coffee, it even sells its own coffee beans to make it yourself at home. For dessert, I opt for the sweet potato flavored Sunday waffle, and I pair it with a mochaccino, come in to about $7. Everything is quite fancy except it came on a plastic tray. There's some inconsistencies in this experience. For example, a plastic fork with the salad, but nice utensils with the burger. So will this fancy dining experience combat declining restaurant sales and satisfy the increasing trend toward more health conscious eating? Will McDonald's start more of these around the world? I wonder if I need to leave a tip.